What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to make the interior for your hospital. If you've not seen the exterior, I would recommend checking that out first, and here's a tour of the inside. Um, this holds 16 rooms per floor, as opposed to the previously guessed 36, which was way off, and I'm sorry, I don't know how that got so off. You could technically do 38 though, as I'm showing everything here. But, um, yeah, that was supposed to be, um, uh, like a where babies are born area but um yeah it can be whatever you can decide on that here's the individual rooms i show you a few of them just because they are a little bit different and um yeah this is a long one so you better buckle in for it and um i only show you how to do one floor so this is probably gonna be a four hour build maybe it'll be a long time though maybe even longer than that i don't know but yeah, I'm sorry, it's so long, but I would recommend doing this in little segments. But with that, I'm out of time, so enjoy the very long tutorial. Alright, so you don't actually need any space for this because you should already have everything that you need, which is the shell of your building. If you have not, again, I would recommend checking out the exterior because you can't really do much for the interior without the exterior. Unless you're only using this for reference, then that is completely up to you. But, to start off on the interior, you want to get out smooth stone, white concrete, glowstone, or sea lanterns, or don't use redstone lamps, but you could use lanterns, which we will need later, and gray concrete. We're not going to need them until, like, the end, though. But this will be a long one. Buckle in. So, uh, you want to come inside, and, um, also I'd recommend getting on night vision for now. Although it is not actually too dark in here. It's really this center area that's dark. But, um, yeah. So there are a few things you want to do. First things first. Come to the front here of this gray concrete section. And you want to bring the bottom, say, three blocks of gray concrete backwards by one. And then inwards by two. And then forward by one. This will just seal off the edges here of this blue glass doorway and make it look better. And also on top of this, you want to place a row of gray concrete on top of the blue glass. And then moving backwards from that, you want to place a row of white concrete. Now, I'm going to tell you to do something right now. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because, um, although it actually isn't super hard because we can literally just do some filling and stuff. But, I'm only gonna say this right now just because it is easiest to do it now. But, break your entire floor, including under the blue glass and doors, and replace it with smooth stone. I'm not going to do this right now because I have a little bit of a shortcut way to do it, which, um, I'm not going to do on- well, I- way to do it quote unquote you'll you, you'll you'll understand if you ask if you just ask in the comments if you want to know how i did that but or how it will be done but i'm not gonna do that right now because um yeah that'll be cut out in a minute as, as far as another as well as another thing sorry and then uh you want to come to the front and to the left of the doors after you have done that or if you're just gonna wait which doesn't matter. However, we are doing walls and ceiling next, so. And from this first row of white concrete here on the, to the left of the doorway, you want to place moving backwards, 10 white concrete. Leave a two block gap. 11 white concrete. Two block gap. Five white concrete. And then you want to do a similar thing to the first right con white concrete on to the right of the door, but except you want to place moving backwards. Ten white concrete. Two block gap. Eleven white concrete. Two block gap. And then eight white concrete. So that's the only difference. The back two is eight on the right and, le and five on the left. So it should be a five block gap actually on the left side and a two block gap here on the right. You can fill that in right now. However, this these two measurements will be used later on for a different measurement. 
But then what you want to do is you want to copy that row two more times on either side, except on the second row, you just want to place a flat row of white concrete on top of it. Although it does want to be the same length as it is on both sides. But yeah, you want to make sure that it's just a doorway that you can walk through. If you want, you can actually make it go all the way up to the ceiling. However, I would not just for the purpose of the lighting because it is a different pattern on the left and the right compared to what it is in the center. Which is what I am going to be majority, or at least cutting out majorly. This, honestly, this interior might take you, if you have six floors, it'll probably take a few hours to get everything interiorized and such. One floor will probably take an hour or so, I don't know. But however long this video is, plus like, if you do commands for the floor, then just plus the ceiling, which is probably like 20 minutes, so, yeah. But what you want to do now is going left to right or right to left here at this front section, you want to place upward diagonally to the, um, whichever side by one, you want to place one glowstone, then bring it towards the center with an additional block, or additional glowstone, then two white concrete, two glowstone, one white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone. Copy that row moving backwards one more time. Place two rows of white concrete. And then you want to copy that pattern again and again until you hit the back. Um, it's just basically along the sides, it's just two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, etc. However, again, going across it is a little bit different. I would go until the back point of the left wall, which is the shorter one. You should end on two glowstone. The reason we're ending with this one is because there is a wall here, and if you keep going to the back, we will have to destroy some of the ceiling. However, there will be an opening later on, which is fine, but, yeah, and then... For the left and the right segments, you want to place basically a row of white concrete that is one block above the, um, that is on the, basically the white concrete above the top blocks of the windows, and it wants, does want to go all the way around, and you want to basically kind of create a little square to start. Just like, so okay, no, that's off by a, by a block. So your ceiling should be three blocks tall. And then, you basically, what you want to do now is you want to line up your glowstone with your windows, and your white concrete with your white concrete along the wall. So it's two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, three white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, three white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone. Copy that row moving backwards one more time. And then, once you hit the sides, again, you'll notice, like, see, there's two white concrete there, so it will be two flat rows of white concrete here. That's basically how it works. If you want to, what I would do is I would basically take, like, every single window, like, you can see here where you have the three. You could just, do, what you can start off with is bringing those across to both sides. That way, you have, like, a layout, kind of, like a palette, almost, and you'll just have holes to fill in. So as you can see here, you have the two white concrete, and then this will go front to back, and hit two white concrete on the back as well. And then again, it's the one block of leeway on all sides, but yeah, it's something like this. And you do want to do this on the left section, the right section, and every single section moving up as far as floors are concerned. I thought I was going to show you how to do two floors, however, I'm only showing you how to do one because I realized that it literally doesn't make a difference. The only thing is that the front, like, lobby will turn into a big hallway, which you can do what you'd like with. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do this, and I will be right back once everything is how it should be. Alright, so once you've done that, you should have this. Um, so here's how everything looks. And, um, yeah, you still do have the two holes here at the back. But, also I have cleared my inventory, well, kind of. But, um, what you want to do now is you want to get out white concrete, dark oak doors, spruce doors, and birch doors. That is a lot of doors, and I'm aware of that. We're going to come into the left section here. And what you want to do is you want to come to the front pathway, or the front doorway here on the right side, preferably. It doesn't really matter which side, actually. Sorry, I think I said left to start, but it is the right side. 
And you want to counter to the second white concrete moving forwards from that doorway. And going right from that, you want to place three white concrete, two dark oak doors, seven white concrete. Let me make sure I have that correct. As far as how long that was, it is seven. I am positive of that. Two doors, four white concrete, two doors, one white concrete. This is where it gets a little bit weird. Backwards with three white concrete. Left with three white concrete. Then back with two doors. Seven white concrete. Two doors. One white concrete. Then right with three white concrete again. Back with three white concrete. Left with two dark oak doors. Four white concrete. Two dark oak doors. Seven white concrete. Two dark oak doors. Three white concrete. Just like that. So this basically sets in a little bit of a table of how many rooms we have. So it is it is not as many as I thought it was. I don't know where I got 36 from, but it's... It is 18 per floor, which is actually half. So, not that bad, because there's 9 on each... No, there's... Sorry, 16 per floor. Sorry, that was my bad. So, I mean, when you have six floors, 16 times six, you can do that math. I can't. No, it's, uh, it's 96, I believe. Um, but this isn't math class, so. Again, from the front door, this time on the left side, you want to count forward by one. The open space at the back doesn't actually make a difference for these, but yeah. So, from the second one moving forward, you want to place going left, three white concrete, two dark oak doors, Seven white concrete. Two dark oak doors. Four white concrete. Two dark oak doors. One white concrete. Then... Give me a second. Forward or... Backward with three white concrete, whichever it is. I don't know. Okay, this is... This is the front over here. So, yes, backwards with three white concrete. Sorry. Right with three white concrete. Backwards with two dark oak doors. Seven white concrete. Let me make sure this is correct. Okay, it, it is not. Wait, is it? Oh, no, it is. Sorry. Then two dark oak doors, one white concrete, right with three white concrete, or sorry, left with three white concrete, my bad, back with three white concrete, right with two dark oak doors, four white concrete, two dark oak doors, seven white concrete, two dark oak doors, three white concrete. Just like that. The reason we have these little sections is so I can actually add a room in the corner. It makes the rooms on this side here, this on the short side, a little bit smaller. Which is fine. I can You still can fit everything. Um, I wouldn't have done it that way if you couldn't. Although I actually did furnish them afterwards. But it everything works fine. But now what you want to do is basically... I don't really know. Okay. The sev the rows of seven white concrete. You want to split directly down the middle and connect them to the wall. Which is basically the wall that's closest to it. So you're splitting behind the doors, basically. Or I guess in front of some of the doors. Just so you have rooms. <laughs> and then you're splitting... Okay, actually you just do that for now. And then we'll... Split it together section because that one's a little bit more wordy. So we're going to hold off on that for a moment. Although we're literally going to do it right now, now. Right now. So 
basically, you have these two doors, which are kind of, like, pocketed in almost. They're kind of just, like, squeezed into a corner. The white concrete towards the center of them. This one, more towards the center of the building from them. Which is this one right here, the one that I'm highlighting. You want to bring this one straight to the wall, to the closest wall, which should be either forward, which should be forward and backward, basically. They're not cutting off the um, availability to this room, but yeah. And actually, you want to do that on, I believe, is it both blocks? Yeah, it is. Because basically, it's the one, and the one towards the more towards the wall. You want to bring that one also to the not to the side, sorry, to the towards the left or the right wall instead. So the ones towards the inside of the doors are being brought forward and backward. The ones towards the outside of the doors are being brought left and right. So now you should have fairly evenly split rooms, and there are six, eight of them per side. So 16 total. So if you're confused again, look at my screen. So it's this block right here. Here is the, this is the far wall. That's the inside of the room. So then just straight to this wall, and then this one right here to this wall. And that should make this room a square. This room is the hardest one to do anything with. And then you want to bring all those walls up to the ceiling with white concrete, including above the doors. <clears throat> and do this on both sections, or both sides of the building as well. This might not be as long as I thought it was going to be, to be honest, after cutting out um, the lengthy part. Because I don't remember, I don't know how long the lengthy part is, because I didn't just do it. I did it, like, a while ago. <laughs> and I wasn't really paying attention. Like, usually I'd be like, whenever it's something involving, while well, I'm recording, I'll usually check the time before and after, which I did not do this time. Unless I'm live streaming, then I just use that as my time. But I'm not really live streaming, as you can probably tell. I should premiere this, though. Because, yeah, let's premiere the longest possible video I can think of. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I don't know why this one is the one that I'm like, yeah, I should premiere that. I should premiere, though. I like premiering. It's fun. I need to premiere on a weekend. That's a good idea. Since I can't really stream sometimes... Premiering is the next closest thing to live streaming. Man, I didn't even stream. I was going to, or did I? No, I didn't. I was going to stream, but then I got lazy and didn't, so, yeah. I was doing stuff. Was I? Wait, what day was... Okay, yeah, there was kind of stuff happening. Not really a, anything huge, but just, you know. We were going to, I was, might have, or we were thinking about recording a secret neighbor thing, but no. And then we ended up doing that on Sunday. And I ended up, I think, working on this on Saturday. Or no, it was, it wasn't this, it was the Little Nightmares 2 Left World. Oh no, you haven't even seen that yet. Uh, might as well spoil it now, I'm doing a time lapse for it, so. I'm not doing all of it, obviously, but I'm doing a good amount of the shack. I think I'm almost done the shack, but I'm not positive on that. Well, I've gotten... I've done the kitchen, the hallway, and I've just started the basement. So, not really most of it. I'm like halfway done, probably, if even. And it's it's a, it's a big build. It is a very big build. So don't put that past it. Alright, once you're done that, you should have something that looks kind of like this. This These two rooms here, it's kind of a hole in the wall. Don't worry about that for now. Because it's not important. But... Yeah, it's not important. Just just kind of play off the whole hole-in-the-wall thing. But, um, yeah. For the other part, you want to come to the uh, front. I'm gonna, let me see if I can... Okay, yeah, this is the front. And you want to now count to the second white concrete behind the doors. And going right from this, you want to place seven white concrete. This is deja vu. You'll see why. Two birch doors. I didn't even think of this until now, but yeah. Four white concrete. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Backwards with eight white concrete. Yeah. 
then left with three white concrete, two birch doors, five white concrete, one spruce door, and then a white concrete. Do that on both sides. So again, on the other side from the front, the second block backwards and behind this front door, you're gonna place moving left, seven white concrete, two birch doors, four white concrete, back with eight white concrete, right with three white concrete, then two birch doors, five white concrete, spruce door, and a white concrete. This is why I'm saying deja vu all over again. You want to take the row of seven, the one on this side here, the front side, it should be the front side, with the birch doors and the spruce doors on the back side. You want to split the seven directly down the middle going front to back. It should split the, um, it should basically split the other side into this room is, the two doors are centered here in this room, and in this, on this side, it is the spruce door that is centered. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? Splitting the seven in half. And then what you want to do is you want to bring those walls up to the ceiling again with white concrete, including above the birch doors and the spruce doors. You don't want to leave out those, guys, because they're just as important. Not really. <laughs> There's only two of them compared to eight. There's more birch doors for actually there's more dark oak doors per side than there probably is in the entire building for other doors. <laughs> not probably not. But it's still a lot of birch doors. That's kind of or dark oak doors is kind of the point. Hopefully everyone's having a good day or night. Again, took a while for me to say that. It's my destiny to say that. Just like the other one with the dumb suburban house roofs. Which I will not say other than on a suburban house. But, once you've done that, that should be the structure of your sides complete. That's nice to have done. Now, you want to clear inventory and get out white concrete, glowstone. Yes, it's bad. Not respawn anchors. I don't know what you're going to use those for. Gray concrete. <laughs> Dark oak doors. Oh, hey, they're back. And... Uh, we'll go stone brick stairs. Stone bricks, and if you want, smooth stone. Now... Come to the back left-hand corner, kind of. This where the, you have the hole in the wall. And you want to place a gray concrete backward diagonally to the right by one. You then want to bring it right by four. Back by four. And then left by one. Give me a second to switch gears. I need to make sure the staircase is done right. All right. And you want to... Okay, I would get out action night vision if you want. I'm only... You don't need to get it out. I'm just getting it out so you can do better. Although the bubbles are a little bit of a, not a nuisance. But the two smooth stone behind this little gray concrete C hook shape that we made. These two right here behind this flat this line. You want to place two stone brick stairs. You then want to bring them up diagonally to the left by one. And bring that left with two stone bricks. You'll see why I'm doing this now. You want to bring this forward diagonally upward by three with stone brick stairs? Yes. You don't need to place the upside down ones. I'm just placing them so it's a little bit easier because I'm going to destroy them now. And then you want to place two stone bricks behind that. And then it gets different after this a little bit. Bring that left by two. And then bring those two blocks backward diagonally upwards with three stone brick stairs again. Let me make sure it is three. I think it's three. Yes, okay. 
and then backwards with two stone bricks. Bring those two stone bricks right by two, right by two each. Then bring those two stone bricks backward diagonally, or no, forward diagonally upwards by, I believe, two. Yes. You do want to place the upside down stone brick stairs under those, though. These stairs. So every stair from this point on wants to have upside down stone brick stairs under them. You'll see why these don't in a minute. But then you want to bring those two stone brick stairs backwards with three stone bricks. Make sure it is three. If you do two, it will not work. Because from this point on, it's going to have to follow that pattern. Because if you compare it to down below, it needs they need to all end at the same point. And, yeah, and then you want to bring those... You want to bring the two stone bricks, the far two back ones, uh, left or right by one each. And then bring those backward with upside down stone brick stairs. And then you need three stone brick stairs moving up from that. And then back with two stone bricks. And keep this pattern going. This last row only. Because you're going to go um, with the stair, with the little landing here. And then you're going to go up with two stairs. And now you're going to be at the level that you need to be at. So you're going to, again, you're going to be at the same point as you were down below. So you need the three again, and then the two. And then these need to be upside down stairs. These can be blocks. However, I just think that it looks nicer with upside down stairs. Because it kind of rounds it off a little bit. But, and then for the um, doors, basically, I would just, from the center, center two stone bricks here on each landing, you just want to place smooth stone and then place dark oak doors on those smooth stone or stone bricks, whatever you prefer. If you do smooth stone, make sure that they are on the um, back half of that block so they're facing towards the stone bricks more so. But if it is stone brick, make sure it is on the front half. Because if this is not stone brick and you have that, that just doesn't look right. And vice versa. But, yeah. That's a stairwell. And then you can bring this gray concrete section here upward until you reach... You basically will hit um, any... Any, what's it called? Any of the stairs. Just bring it up until you hit stairs. And then... Also, make sure to fill it in in this little gap under here. And, um, yeah, and also get out lanterns. And I would place under each lan or under each landing area, which is the little flat stone brick areas, I would place a lantern just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. And then at the bottom here, um... Give me a moment. You can just kind of from this, like, second gray concrete forward, I believe, this one, you can just place two gray concrete. And then just put, like, a little bit of a ceiling here and add a lantern in. Just like that. Only, you only need two blocks of that, because there's going to be an elevator here, which we will build now. So I'm sorry if that was confusing. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. But I'm going to kind of show you how it goes. So basically, it's along the back here. And then it's two stairs, two bricks, three, two, three, two, two. And then it's three, and then it goes to two on the other half. And then three, two, all the way, two. And then it will be, again, the three, two again. Um... But yeah, and then from the right side now, you want to place moving backward diagonally to the left by one, a gray concrete. You then want to bring it left with two doors. Or so you want to bring it left by one and then place two doors. And then two gray concrete and then connect the end gray concrete to the back. So this one only have, have need only need two, sorry. And then, for the elevator shaft, what I would recommend doing is... Let me go past the stair. Oh, no, it's before the stairs. Okay, I need to figure this out. Hang on. Basically, just bring up all the walls besides the door section to start off. As far as your build goes up, I'm not going to do all the way up, obviously, because, um, well... Most of this is just rough scaffolding to show you what to do. 
because be on the first floor. Neither of these are actually completely be on the first floor. I tricked you with the with the front, because I actually just added a wall and a little bit of lighting for the front to make it look a little bit more um, finished. Because I just didn't like how it looked with the darkness up there. Because then it wouldn't be, it'd be like, okay, what interior is there here? <laughs> but yeah. I can assure you there isn't actually anything up there. Like, you can probably see from, if I look through the right windows, you can probably see. Yeah, see, most of it's just a shell, and you can see there's like a wall there that goes across the build. <clears throat> a little bit of, a little bit of a sneaky, but yeah. And then, at the level of the doors here, you want to place above the doors two gray concrete, and then smooth stone. Dark oak doors, two gray concrete, Smooth stone, dark oak doors, two gray concrete, smooth stone, dark oak doors, two gray concrete, and then keep that pattern until you reach the top of your build. I actually did almost all of it. Well, I did four floors, so, yeah. And however you want to actually do, do it for the inside is up to you. Um... You could use scaffolding in the middle, too, and then have a wraparound of smooth stone here along the outside. Like, here, I'll actually share it, because I don't think I need this anymore. It's probably going to go out, like, right now. And then it's going to be dark. But, if I can find scaffolding... Where is scaffolding? I don't ever use it. There it is. Like, just basically in the middle, too, just bring up scaffolding, because you can't actually use scaffolding to climb. Or you can make an automated one, or a water one. It's up to you. Oh, yeah, there it goes. And then, so you can go up and down this. Oh, I am flying now. That's great. But, um, yeah, perfect timing. And then I would just fill in the rest of this pattern here for the lights. Which is literally just half lights. So you could honestly just fill in it with gray concrete if you would like. <clears throat> but, with that being said, you do want to come into the back left hand, the back left inner and then the back right inner um, rooms and you just do just want to patch up the hole in the wall that is now covered up by gray concrete or um, a vacant spot under some steps which oh yeah that's also a thing here for the steps you do want to make sure that the walls are filled in with gray concrete on either side going like wrapping around it like this I don't know how I forgot that and I apologize for doing so but yeah and then that will go all the way up this wrap around the gray concrete here along the sides Unlike the ones that go into the main steps. I don't know what I was doing when I made those, to be completely honest. But, they're there. But, yeah. <clears throat> so you should have an actual, like, stairwell. Can I access this? No, yes, I can. And then again, you do just want to fill this in, because nobody really cares about how, the un how under the steps look. You could actually have a door right there for maintenance stuff. That is up to you. But, um, yeah. Next up, we're going to do the main lobby, and then I'll show you how to do the rooms, which you do need two sets of materials for. So, yeah. Alright, so for the main lobby, you're going to need just a few materials, actually. You need oak wood stairs, light gray concrete, and stone brick stairs. That's all I had you get. Um, you could get out bookshelves or whatever if, if you want to add like reading stations and stuff but along the left and the right wall you want to leave a one block aft in the front you don't need to add as many chairs as i add by the way and you want to leave a place an oak stair one block aft oak stair one block aft oak stair one block aft oak stair skip over the doorway oak stair aft, one block aft after the doorway oak stair one block aft 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 oak stair and then do this on both sides. I would do at least this many. Um, but no no less, but more if you really want more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 18. Um, I turn into about 40, so yeah. And then I left two block. And then what I did is leave a two block hat moving inwards, and you want to copy the stairs. Except where you have the gap by the doorway, you can either leave that open or add another couple of stairs. I would actually only add one stair. I did add two, but I would only add one in case, um, because this is an emergency or something, and I have to barge through the door and go through one of these doorways. 
Um, it'd be easier to just go through the front one, but they could also go through the back one. But let's say the only vacant room in the, on this floor is in here, then, yeah. But, it's up to you. And then, yeah, do it on the other side as well. I wouldn't add any more going backwards, though. But, yeah, you at least need enough space so, you know, there can be, like, in case there's an emergency, people can fly through here and... Go through some doorways and, you know, do whatever they need to do in these rooms, which are currently empty, but we're going to change that soon. Oh, yeah, we also have the those two middle rooms, which we're probably going to start with. You want to come to the back left-hand corner of the room by the stairwell, and you want to count so you can see the smooth stone that I'm highlighting. It's basically directly in front of the stairwell. But you want to leave a four-block gap, or a three-block gap moving forward, and you want to place four light gray, or five light gray concrete moving right. Sorry, I'm bad at numbers. And then you want to bring that backwards by two on the right side. And then somewhere in the middle of this, just place a stone brick stair. Just like that. Now. What you want to do is you want to... Get out to start off white beds and stone slabs. I know that's a lot of materials. And you want to come into the spruce door room, and you basically want to wrap the walls with a row of opposite on stone slabs along this bottom block, and either the second block or normal slabs on the third block. I'm actually going to do normal on the third for this one. And you could do that above the door as well, so that adds an extra space. Just like that. Now, for this room, I didn't really know what to do with this room, so, um... What I did was, I placed a white bed on the first and the third block of white concrete to the left and the right of the doors. And then, you have three blocks in the middle of this, so I just placed a bed in the center on either side. Um, this could be whatever you think it could be. Um, I was thinking, I don't know, I, don't know, I haven't been to a hospital in two years, I think, two and a half at this point. No, it's been, oh yeah, it's probably two and a half actually. Right, yeah, 2018 sounds right. Maybe even three and a half, but, yeah. I was thinking maybe this could be like, I don't know, a center for where babies are born or whatever. I don't know, again, I've been in, obviously, that specific room in my life, because I haven't had a need to, but, yeah, you do want to do this on both sides as well. Or you could just make this into an extra, um, hospital room, and then you'd, ha you would, ha and then you'd have 18. So, yeah, and I'm actually sure how the opposite on Stone slabs twice looks here. Just like that. And then, uh, yeah, the bedroom. Don't put... Ah, okay. Well, I have a respawn point now in the, the hospital. That's good to know. In case I ever, for some reason, die in this world in survival. <laughs> Alright, so we have two sets of materials. I'm going to go through each room progressively with that set of materials. There are three different room designs which we have, and I'm going to start with the, um, I guess the set that kind of takes up more space. And that is white concrete, birch doors, smooth quartz blocks, or a normal quartz block. I use normal, but smooth is better. And then smooth quartz stairs, or again, go with the same variant as you did with the block. Birch trap door. Lever, cauldron, white bed, and stone brick stair. There's multiple of them. You want to come to the four rooms, the two at the front and the two at the back, that are just kind of normal rooms like this. At one side of the door, it does not matter which side. You want to place from that first white concrete from that side of the door, you want to bring it forward with four white concrete, right with a white concrete, or towards the outside of the room with a white concrete, and then place a birch door. And then bring that white concrete up to the ceiling, as well as the birch door with white concrete. Just like that. Open up this door, and on the inside, you want to place a smooth quartz block. Bring it forward with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a birch strap door. Back with a smooth quartz block, and then from the top of that 
from the, to the left of that top smooth quartz block, you want to place a lever. Or you can place a button on top of it, but I think a lever works better. And then, if you go directly in front of this door, you want to place a cauldron in the corner with a lever above it flicked down. So these are the square rooms. Also, what I would do is along the other wall, so as you can see, the one that where you have this huge open kind of area, you want to place on the second block to the towards the inside, you want to place a white bed. And then leave a one block gap moving towards the inside again, and you want to place a stone brick stair from that. If that instruction is not clear, basically this is from the front left hand corner, you want to place a bed to the block to the right of that, and leave a one block gap going right, place a stone brick stair. And then you want to do that in four different rooms. So again, if you're confused, just look at my screen. I'm going to try and go slightly slow. However, I'm not going to really talk about what I'm doing. So again, there's this. Okay, I look wrong for some reason. And then if you've watched any of my tutorials, you should know how this works. And then again, the cauldron directly to the corner. And then the opposite corner, bed. Stone brick stair with a one block gap. Now for these end rooms here, these far corner ones, what you want to do is you basically want to do a very similar thing, except you want to, from the block to the, I guess to the, kind of the right of the door from my perspective, you want to place four white concrete moving towards the, I believe this is the back of the build, yes, yeah. And then bring that left, right from my perspective of the birch door, to white concrete. Connect to the um, front wall. Bring all that up with white concrete. Come to the inside of this room, and again, make your toilets a smooth quartz block. Ups and on smooth quartz there in front of that birch trap door on top. Smooth quartz block behind that lever to the left of it. And then... In the front left hand corner, which is the one by the door, so it might be different in the other room. But the one directly across from the door, you want to place a cauldron with a lever above it, flick down. And then along the other wall, again, leaving a one block out, place a white bed from the one one block away from the um, wall here. And then one block out from that, place a stone brick stair. And again, I will show you again in a different room, except I won't explain it, I will just build it slowly. So as you can see, this block, I'll kind of explain it, I guess. And, um, yeah. Sorry if my explanations are always bad. I know, it's not the, not an easy thing to explain things. And especially for me. <laughs> and then again, drag across in the door, cauldron with a lever above it, and then white bed here. Make sure that you can see directly into this um, corner over here, at least to an extent. That will be important. And then for the other two room designs, which are these two, you want to basically, you have to kind of like two sides. This one is taken from the corner. You want to make sure the other is taken from a corner as well. So, right of the door, four white concrete moving towards the wall. Birch door moving right, white concrete. So, I'm basing this off of the way that I'm looking. And then again, your toilet in here, so... Hopefully you should know how to build this by now. Just like that. Pretty simple. And then this time it is directly in front of this cauldron with a lever above it flicked down. This is a lot similar to the other rooms. And then again there is the bed one block away from this wall. And then a stone brick stair one block away from that. And again I will show you how to do this one more time and build it slowly. I'm only going to do half the rooms because I don't feel like doing the other half. If even half actually. I did not need to open that door. And then the toilet. And then the cauldron across. And then the bed on the other side of the room with the stone brick. Bed is too far away. It didn't even reset my spawn point. Wow. But, um, yeah, once you've done that, that is one set of your rooms done. Although you still do have these two to do. So yeah, I would, what I would do is I would just get like used to it a little bit and then you could, should be able to speed build them. I only really needed to make about, like I'm not looking at anything right now, I just have memorized all these because I built 12 of these I think, right? No, 16 of them. I built 16 rooms. 
So I've kind of just memorized them. But you want to come inside any of the rooms now, and you want to get out. Gray concrete. Oak buttons. What else? Paintings. Actually, one painting. And then this one is... These three are optional that you need. Cobblestone wall. Nether brick fence and flower pot. That's a very weird combination of blocks. But, <laughs> yeah. And then we're in these square rooms. The ones that are completely untouched. Which there should be eight of total per floor. To the block, towards like the... To the left of the bed, I guess you want to place a gray concrete with an oak button on the, I guess, the back face of it, technically. And then you want to leave a two block gap from that, and you want to place five gray concrete here along this wall. Upward diagonally to the right of that last block, you want to place a painting, a one block painting. Now, this is a, um, supposed to be a TV. I believe they have TVs in hospitals. The last time I was in a hospital they had a tv there and i was watching a football game on it don't ask how i remember that it was in like december of 2017 or 18 which was the last time i was in a hospital don't ask why i was there either actually you can i was just i was just sick and i didn't eat after that and i had to get an IV, which was not fun so i have now learned that whenever i am sick i just need to eat <laughs> So, yeah, and then I, usually what I'll do is I'll do it um, di diagonally inwards from the bathroom corner. You want to place a cobblestone wall on the floor with a nether brick fence on top of that and then a flower pot on top of that. That's supposed to be like an ivy. I know that's terrible, but deal with it. <laughs> it's hard. It is hard to make things like that, especially in Minecraft, but yeah. And then... Here's the other room. I built that really quick. I'm sorry. But yeah, here's what it is. It's not a lot of new details. And I'll just show you the rest of the room, I guess. Well, let me see if I can get the... I can get the entire thing in shot. Except that, actually. Now I can get everything. And then, um... Yeah, now for these corner rooms here, these ones that are tucked away... Um, what I would do is, again, same thing towards that wall, gray button, or gray, gray button, yeah, say gray concrete in the corner with an oak button, and then two block out, and then the five gray concrete. And I would always make the painting directly across from the bed. That is the one rule here, but yeah, as you can see, there it is. And then again, for the IV thing, it's just, doesn't really matter where you put it. I would actually put it, I don't want to put it there, I'll just leave it here. These rooms are a little bit more cramped. Admittedly, the U-shaped ones, the bathroom in the way. But uh, let me see if I can get the entire thing in shot. I can. Would you look at that? And then for the other style of rooms, this one's a little bit different because of the way that it is. But basically, you want to place a gray concrete in the corner with an oak button on it again. And I would leave a two-block gap and place two gray concrete. You can do it where there's only a one-block gap. However, the little gap here by the bed, I think, does look better. And then again, the painting upward diagonally to the right from the gray concrete. So it should be directly across from the bed. And the other one was, like, I think, on top of the gray concrete. And then again, your little ivy thing, if you need it. This isn't necessary. You don't have to add this. Uh, you can figure out other medical equipment and stuff if you'd like. And also, yeah, this is supposed to be, like, a guest chair for someone who's chilling with you for the entire time. I wouldn't say chillin' is a very good way to, um, you know, say that, but someone that is there with you, that's probably more, I guess, appropriate for the situation. If it was, like, a, an arcade or a condo or something, chillin' would work, but I don't really think this is necessarily a good topic for that. But I, and I'll just do another room, because I'm bored. Oh yeah, I didn't actually do this extra room, sorry. So again, oh no, it isn't on top of the gray concrete, sorry, it's just, just, no, yeah, it's, no, I'm dumb. Sorry. But, um, yeah, and then you have all the other rooms, and you have however many floors to do it with, so yeah, have fun with that. Really enjoy your time. Um, honestly, though, do something else while you're doing it, like, listen to music, watch YouTube, just do something to try and make it a little less painful. Because I know six floors is a lot. 
But, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your remake hospital with an interior complete. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.